Welcome to this episode of our program, Arab Affairs. As usual, we will be discussing uh, important uh, Arab points. Today, we'll be speaking about a tour the president made to Bahrain and uh, Oman, where he uh, met uh, with Bahraini King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Uh, uh, in uh, the um, Bahraini capital and uh, the other in Oman where he met with Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said. Um, definitely uh, the, lead, uh, the, the leaders have discussed a number of regional and international issues of mutual concerns and uh, have discussed challenges that are facing the uh, region, the Middle East region, plus of course some of the important economic files that uh, has uh, differed from uh, different angles. We'll be speaking in our first segment about this uh, important tour the president uh, made. In our second segment, we'll be speaking about uh, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, who is uh, uh, in uh, Algeria in order to attend the um, Egyptian-Algerian uh, Higher Committee uh, meeting which is taking place in Algeria and on the side aligns many of the um, important forums business forums that were held uh, where the uh, Prime Minister is leading the Egyptian delegation to this meeting we'll be speaking about both um, uh, ep um, both uh, topics in our episode before we delve into our discussion first let's have a quick look on the Arab news that took place during this week and we'll come back for more discussion Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held a joint press conference on Wednesday with his Bahraini counterpart in Manama. Shukri thanked the Bahraini Foreign Minister and stressed the significance of the diplomatic ties between Egypt and Bahrain. The Foreign Minister retreated that the Arab security needs unifying efforts to face current challenges as he called for unifying efforts to confront terrorism and its organizations. For his part, Bahraini Foreign Minister said that they discussed supporting common interests for the sake of the two peoples, as well as intensifying joint cooperation in the economic and trade fields. He added that Bahrain asserted full support to Egypt in the Ethiopian dam issue and for its waters rights. Moreover, the two officials also tackled bilateral relations and investment cooperation. The top diplomats meeting witnessed the signing of a number of agreements and MOUs. A delegation from Arab League countries traveled to Lebanon on Friday for a two-day gathering that includes meetings with the crisis-ridden country's top officials. Foreign Minister Abdullah Abu Habib said leaders, including Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghid, would meet with Lebanese President Michel Oun, caretaker Prime Minister and the Speaker of Parliament. Abu Ghid, who will meet with Oun on Saturday, had visited Lebanon in March and announced about his next consultative ministerial meeting would take place in Beirut ahead of the full summit in Algeria next November. The United Nations envoy to Libya has said that after two days of UN-mediated talks in Geneva, Two senior Libyan officials from the country's rival camps failed to reach an agreement on a constitutional framework for national elections. The envoy said the Libyan parliament speaker Aguila Saleh and Khaled al-Mishiri, head of the government Supreme Council of State, would not agree on the eligibility criteria for presidential nominees. The talks in Geneva were the latest in UN-led efforts to bridge the gaps between the factions after the last round of talks in Egypt failed to make headway. Thousands of pilgrims started arriving in the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia on Friday. Among some, one million Muslims expected to attend the 2022 Hajj pilgrimage season after two years of major disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Wrapped with some carrying umbrellas against the burning desert sun, hundreds performed the first ritual of the Hajj, which involves walking in a circle around the Kaaba, the sacred building at the center of Mecca's Grand Mosque. Saudi Arabia, home to Islam holiest sites in Mecca and Medina, allowed back foreign travelers this year to perform the Hajj. Only a few thousand Saudi citizens and residents attended the annual pilgrimage in the last two years as COVID-19 wreaked havoc across the global economy and curtailed travel.
Right, welcome back. And we start with our first uh, segment uh, or the first part of our uh, episode today. And we'll be speaking about the tour the president held uh, to uh, uh, Bahrain and uh, the Sultanate of Oman. We'll uh, be discussing after the outcome and uh, the fruits of such a uh, visit after this report. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi arrived back home on Wednesday after concluding a tour that included Oman and Bahrain. On Wednesday, the president held summit talks with Bahraini King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa in Manama. The two leaders discussed means to foster bilateral ties in addition to a number of regional and international issues of common concern. President Sisi thanked the Bahraini King and praised the strong and historical ties binding Egypt and Bahrain. The president also stressed the significance of enhancing joint cooperation in various domains during the coming period. For his part, Al Khalifa expressed appreciation to Egypt's government and people under the wise leadership of President Sisi, praising the deep ties between the two countries. The two leaders also witnessed the signing of a number of agreements in different fields. President Sisi also held talks with Bahraini Crown Prince, Deputy Bahraini Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The talks reviewed boosting bilateral relations in addition to a number of regional and international issues of common concern. President Sisi had left the Omani capital on Tuesday. Earlier, Sisi had met Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Oman in Al Alam Al Amir Palace in capital Muscat. Presidential spokesperson Bassam Rodi said that President Sisi and Sultan Haytham held private talks during which the CC praised the level of coordination between the two sides and unified vision over issues of mutual concern. Rodi said that CC also expressed appreciation for sharing viewpoints over efforts to keep maritime security in the Arabian Gulf and the Red Sea and fighting terrorist organizations. During his visit to Oman, President Sisi met representatives of the country's business institutions, company heads, and concerned government bodies. Rodi said the meeting started with a showing a documentary detailing achievements in Egypt in recent years, followed by a review by the Minister of Planning, Hala Saeed, of investment opportunities and mechanisms in Egypt in all fields. He said that during the encounter, Sisi expressed keenness on developing economic and trade ties with the business community in Oman to serve the interests of both sides. He also praised positive developments to economic and trade ties between Cairo and Muscat. 